So hello guys, I hope you're having a good day. Thank you for joining this session. My name is Sri Varshini and I'm a product marketer at Zogo Sign. I hope that my audio is loud and clear and that my screen is visible to you all. If at any point you encounter any issues with the network, please feel free to reconnect. Don't worry about missing bits and pieces of this session because the attendees will be receiving the recording of this session along with the presentation in a few days. Also, if you have any questions for me as I go along with this session, you don't have to wait till the end of the session to ask them. I have some of my colleagues here from the Zoho Sign team who will be happy to answer your questions even in the middle of the session. So you can go ahead and post your queries in the Q&A box that you see below. And one more thing, please don't post your queries in the chat box. Please post them only on the Q&A box so that it will be easier for, for us to sort your questions and answer them properly. All right, now let us move on to have a look at the agenda of this session. To start with, we'll quickly go over the introductory part and then move on to talk about Zoho Sign. I will then be giving you an overview of the application with its most basic features. We will then see how you can validate a digitally signed document. After that, I will be giving you a short basic overview of Zoho Sign's integration with Zoho people. Towards the end, we'll have a Q&A session but as I mentioned before, you don't have to wait till the end to ask questions. Keep them coming uh, in the Q&A box that you see on the screen. All right, now let's get this session started. Everyone is running a race towards efficiency today, and you can literally see it anywhere from digital banking to automated customer services. There has been a sudden increase in speed in which we process and handle data. There is no shortage of shortcuts and smart answers. Yet, some businesses mostly overlook a crucial component that can dramatically accelerate their digital transformation and operational efficiency while saving valuable resources like time, money, and labor, and that is paperwork. No matter the sector, the industry, or the business, paperwork is inevitable. If you are a part of a business that handles paperwork manually, your daily work tasks might feel some. You might have storage rooms that are filled to the brim with documents and agreements, Repeatedly managing and keeping track of all of these crucial data is in itself a Herculean task. But that's not the end of it. These documents are always in danger of being stolen, forged, or damaged in several cases. There's an easy solution for this, and that is to digitize all or part of your workflows. And that is easier said than done, right? When considering going paperless, you might have concerns about the privacy, security, and the legal compliance of using digital signatures. Additionally, data spread across different applications, you might be wondering how to streamline all these processes into a smooth, efficient, cost-effective, and user-friendly solution. With Zoho Sign, you will find answers to all of these questions. Here's what your paperwork will look like with Zoho Sign. You will be able to draft your documents and verify your signers to make sure that all of your documents are legally visible. Collaborate and connect with the stakeholders of your company for review and approval. Manage and maintain the confidentiality of your documents within your account and collect payments and signatures all in one application. So what is Zoho Sign? Zoho Sign is an all-in-one digital signature solution that lets you digitally sign and manage documents. Zoho Sign is compliant with several data privacy regulations such as CCPA, GDPR and HIPAA. Zoho Sign not only serves as a complete end-to-end -end document management tool, all the process, organization, user, and signer data are always encrypted at rest with AES-256 encryption and transmitted through a secure SSL-TLS connection. We also have come up with a new means where you can implement granular access controls to the users in your Zoho Sign organization by creating user groups and profiles and set up specific workflows to maintain confidentiality. We also have blockchain timestamping and trusted document timestamping as an added layer of security to further fortify your digital signature workflows. The best part is we offer all of these features and more at an affordable price. As you can see here, we have several integrations with major certified digital identity and trust service providers like Aadhaar, eMudra, SingPass, TrustFactory, InfoCert, etc so that the documents that are signed from Zoho Sign are legally binding across the world. Now, here comes a million dollar question. Does Zoho Sign adhere to the electronic signature laws across the globe? The answer is yes. Zoho Sign adheres to various electronic and digital signature laws across the globe, 
such as PIPEG in Canada, ESAIN Act in the US, EADAS in Europe, KICA and ECTA in Africa, IT2000 in India, and ETA in Australia and other parts of Southeast Asia. This has given us the regional provisions for advanced electronic signatures and qualified electronic signatures. Zoho Sign is available as a standalone web application with a simple user-friendly interface. Adding to that, we have made Zoho Sign's mobile application accessible across all popular platforms such as web browsers, Android, iOS, iPadOS, macOS, and Windows. Zoho Sign has one of the most tightly knit integrations within the Zoho suite of applications. Some of the most popular in-house integrations that we have are with Zoho CRM, Zoho Finance Applications, Zoho Recruit, Zoho Forms, Zoho People, etc. We also have numerous integrations with third-party applications in Microsoft, Google, OpenAI, HubSpot, Dropbox, Zapier, etc. Now, if you need just a portion of a workflow to be embedded within your application or your website, you can do that using our webhooks, APIs, and other developer tools. Now, let us quickly learn Zoho Science's most basic features. I would actually much prefer it if you all try it out, try out these features as I demonstrate them. So it will be much easier for you to do this later. Now, if you check your Q&A box, I would have sent a work drive folder. And you can go ahead and click this work drive folder and there will be two documents there. One is a sample document for you to uh, just try out within your Zoho sign account. And also another one, be, one will be a CSV file. I'll explain about the CSV file later. Now, what you can do is go to the Zoho Sign website. Zoho Sign website will look something like this. And what you have to do is just sign up for a 14 day free trial. Just put in your email and a password and your phone number and just sign up for the free trial. Now, what you can do is, uh, now I, I have already signed up my account with Zoho Sign. So what I'm going to do is just, I'm going, just going to click sign in. As soon as you sign into your Zoho Sign account, your dashboard will look something like this. And towards the left, you'll be able to see a couple of functionalities like documents and templates, sign forms, etc. A documents is a place where you can uh, where you can just access all of the documents that you sign, send, draft, etc. All of the all of them will be present here. And when it comes to templates and sign forms, I'll explain about them uh, in detail later. And under the reports, each and every activity that you perform within Zoho Sign will be saved here, and you can access all of them here. And under settings, you can go ahead and change or edit anything that you want within Zoho Sign. If you want to send a document for signature within Zoho Sign, you can you can do so by uh, by doing two things. Now, from the dashboard, you can go ahead and hover over the plus icon here and click Send for Signatures, or what you can do is do the obvious thing and, the, and click the send for signatures button in the dashboard itself. So I'm going to do that. You'll be taken to a page where you can add, add your document here. You can add a document via your desktop, your cloud, or your template. I'm just going to add it via my desktop. And I'm going to add a sample document. If you want to, you can add additional documents here as well. We can change the name of the envelope that you send over here. You can also change the name of the document here as well. All right. Now, uh, I'm, I just want you to keep one thing in mind here. I'm going to add myself to this particular signing workflow so I can show you the recipient side as well. So I can do that by clicking the Add Me button. Now, within the left, you'll be able to see a box where it says send an order. 
Now let me just add another recipient here to show you how this works. Now let us say you have about three to four recipients and you want this particular signing workflow to be sent in order. And what this means is that the recipient who has been marked as first will receive the document first and only after they complete the entire signing process will the second recipient receive the document to, uh, to access. Now, if you don't want this workflow to be sent in order, you can just uncheck the box and each of the recipient will receive the document parallelly. So let us say you have a lot of recipients and you want to, uh, you, 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 don't, you don't have to add all of their detail in just uh, one by one. So what you can do is just click add bulk recipients. And if you go back to the work drive folder that I've sent you, you'll be able to see a CSV file and you can just add, add your recipients details in the form of a CSV file and you can upload it here. I've just sent you a sample CSV file and you can just upload it here and you can try out this feature yourself. All right, over here we have four basic recipient actions. The first one is needs to sign, which is pretty self-explanatory. The recipient has to sign the document. And the second uh, recipient action is in-person sign-up. And what this means is that you'll have to host an in-person signing session where you'll have to uh, add a host here and the host will pass the control to the, to the signer. And after they sign this particular document, and uh, they will pass the control back to the host. And this particular functionality will be useful when you are conducting an, uh, conducting an in-person meeting with someone. An approver is just a person who's going to approve the document and receives a copy is just a person who's going to receive a copy of this document. We have two means where you can deliver this particular signing workflow to. The first one is email and the second is email and SMS. So keep in mind that when you click email and SMS, you'll have to add the phone number of the recipient here as well. Right. So you can further customize the signing workflow by clicking the customize button. And here you'll be able to add a private note. Let me just add a basic note here. You can also set up an authentication type for your recipient. We have authentication via email, SMS, and also offline code. Now, if your recipient is comfortable with navigating the, uh, the email and the interface via another language, you can set up the language that is comfortable for them over here. Now, keep in mind that this particular language setting is only for you to change the email and the interface, and this will not change the language of the document as well. Now, uh, you can go ahead and select the digital signature providers that, uh, that should be made available for your recipient to sign this document with. So as soon as you customize all of this, you can go ahead and click Save. If you want to delete a recipient, so what you can do is go ahead and click the delete button here. Under more settings, we have options like days to complete, which is the number of days that your recipient has to complete the entire signing session. The agreement validity is just for your reference. And the document type and folder is just for you to sort this particular document for the future. And Description is, you can add a description for this document if you want to. You can also set up automatic reminders that will be delivered to your recipient via email. Just set up everything. You can also set up a common note to all of the recipients. This particular note will be sent to all recipients. So after you configure all of this, you can go ahead and click continue. Drag and drop all of the fields that you want your recipient to fill. Dragging and dropping the signature field, the full name field, and also the sign date field. After you do that, go ahead and click send. Now keep in mind that I have sent this document to myself. So I'm just going to uncheck this box, which says sign the document right after sending. And I'm going to confirm the number of fields that I've added to this document. 
now i can see that my document has been sent for signature let me show you the recipient side as well now as a recipient i will receive the document via my email and this is what the digital signature request will look like we have the details of the sender the organization name when the signing workflow will expire and the note to, note to all recipients and also the private message i'm going to go ahead and click start signing and click proceed to document now after reading the entire document i'm going to agree to the terms and conditions and click agree and continue since i've already set up my zoho sign profile my name will be auto populated from my profile to here as you can see the sign date is just a date where i'm going to sign this document and what i have to do is to just i'm just i just have to sign the document now I'm going to complete signing via zoho sign and i have signed the document now i can go ahead and download print or email this document my, to myself if i want to now let us see how you can sign documents yourself within zoho sign just as usual from your dashboard go ahead and click the sign yourself button add a document that you want to sign and after configuring this workflow you can go ahead and click continue drag and drop all of the fields now since i have already configured my uh, signature within within my zoho sign account as soon as i dragged and dropped my signature it has already been auto populated as you can see and my full name and the sign date as well now all i have to do is complete signing my zoho sign i can send a copy of the signed document to some of the recipients if i want to just send it to some of the recipients give me a second after i do so i'm just going to go ahead and click send now as you can see it did not even take me close to a minute to sign and send document to a couple of recipients so that's that's how you can how, that's how quickly you can sign and send documents within zoho sign now let us move on to how you can verify a signed document now this is something that every one of you may have thought about as you digitally sign a document right how do you verify a signed document so the first thing that you have to do is you have to go over to your zoho sign account if you have if you want to check a signed document that you signed within zoho sign go over to your zoho sign account go over to documents and click completed and under completed you will be able to see a list of all of the documents that you have signed you can just download that document and open the document in a pdf reader so i'm just going to show you that now keep in mind that you need a pdf reader for this i'm just going to open it via my adobe you can see here above the document where it says that the document has been signed and certified and that it is valid you can now open the signature panel to verify the details yes i can all right now you'll be able to see that the signer's identity entity is valid and that the document has not been tampered with after its signage you can also see that the signer's signature's ltv or the long term validation is enabled which makes the document signature valid for a long time now when you download this document within zoho sign you'll also be able to download a certificate of completion that will give you a complete summary of the sender and the signer along with the legal disclosure that the signer agreed to before signing the document now let me walk you through two of the slightly advanced functionalities that we have within zoho sign with multiple use cases and one of them is the ability to create and send out templates within zoho sign you can create and use templates in which you can create and save the signing workflow for commonly used documents like policy documents sales agreements etc 
And when you want to send them out for signature, you just have to add the name and the email of the recipient and send it out without having to create a separate workflow from scratch. Now let us see how you can create and manage uh, templates within Zoho Sign. From your Zoho Sign dashboard, go over to templates. And here you'll be able to create a template by clicking the create template button here. Or you can also upload, you can also import templates from your from your computer if you want to. And perform various actions to the to the templates that you've already created here. For instance, I can use this template, export template, or delete this template if I want to. Now let me show you how you can create a template. Go ahead and click the create template button. And this particular workflow will be familiar to you by now. You can just add your document via your desktop or your cloud. Enter the name of the template. And keep in mind that when you create a template, you'll have to add a role for your recipient. Just going to add a role called employee here. And after you configure all of the workflow, go ahead and click continue. Now drag and drop all of the fields. After you do that, go ahead and click save. Now your template has been created. So what you can do is go ahead and if you want to send this template to someone, you can just click on the template. And you can add, add this template to a folder. You can also uh, add the email of this particular recipient and add the note, add the common note to the recipients and go ahead and click continue if you want to like toggle or change any of the workflow that you've already created or you can go ahead and click quick send if you just want to send this to, send this template quickly to someone let me show you another way where you can send this uh, send this template to someone So what you can do is, as you send documents for signatures, you can just add, go ahead and click templates when you add a document. Select the template that you've created recently and click use templates. And over here, you just have to add the email of the recipient. Go ahead and click continue. And here you can see that all of the fields that you've added while creating the template are already present. So all you have to do is go ahead and just click send. Click confirm. Now you, you can, uh, now you know how to create and send templates for signature within Zoho sign. Now let us move on to sign forms. Zoho Sign allows you to create a self-service digital signature process through a secure URL with no coding whatsoever. For instance, if your company wants to get their social media policies signed by new hires, the human resources team can create a sign form and embed its URL within your company's onboarding email for new hires to sign and submit. Now let us see how you can create and manage a sign form within Zoho Sign. From your dashboard, go ahead and go to templates. So what you can do is you can just convert a template into a sign form. To do this, you can go to the actions button near the template and click create sign form. Now give a name to this particular sign form. Give the signer authentication and go ahead and click create if you want to. Or what you can do is go directly to, to the sign forms tab and go ahead and click create sign form. Here you can choose a template that you've already created within Zoho sign. Enter the name for the template. 
enter the name for the sign form apologies you can select the document validity enforce the signer authentication you can also limit the response settings avoid duplicate responses and also allow the signer to resume signing from their previous response after you do do so go ahead and click create now all you have to do is go over to the actions button copy the url and embed the url within your com uh, company website or your email or wherever you want to now let me show you how how this sign form works in the recipient side now as soon as you click the url of the sign form you'll be taken to a page where you have to add your name and your email let me just do that. So go ahead and click Start Signing. Read the entire document and agree to the legal disclosure. And as you can see, from when you have entered your name, it has been auto populated. And also, the signing date is just a date where, where in which you sign this document. Now, all you have to do is sign the document. Now, go ahead and click OK. And now, Complete signing, Maya Zoho sign. And that's how you create and send sign forms within Zoho sign. We have a 14 day enterprise trial, and this is for you to just try out Zoho Science features and evaluate whether it is suitable for your unique needs. Now, when you are in the trial version, there'll be a watermark present in the document that you send signatures to. As shown over here, it will be it will read as for demo purposes only, powered by Zoho Sign. To remove this work mark, uh, to remove this watermark, you can go ahead and upgrade your plan if you want to. Now let me move on to Zoho Sign's integration with Zoho People. Zoho Sign's integration with advanced HR applications like Zoho Recruit and Zoho Workerly has been helping businesses streamline the process of hiring and onboarding employees. Zoho Science integration with Zoho People will help you throughout the middle and the later stages of your company's employee life cycle, right from onboarding to development, retention, and exit. Zoho Science is integrately integrated with Zoho People, and once you enable this integration, you'll be able to upload and send documents for signatures right from within your Zoho People application. You don't have to waste time in, in switching between applications and you can manage and track, track your signature workflows efficiently in this way. Now, let us see how you can integrate Zoho Sign with Zoho People. Now, log into your Zoho People account and go over to settings. Navigate to the marketplace and here search for Zoho Sign and click configure. Now your Zoho Sign extension has been enabled within Zoho People. Now go ahead and click View Details. Here you can add users from within your Zoho Sign account to Zoho People. To do that, go ahead and click the Add User Account button and type in the name of your of the user of your choosing and go ahead and click Confirm. Now, as you can see, the status will show as email sent. So what this means is that your user will receive an invitation mail. Well, they'll, they'll have to accept the invitation to be added to this particular integration here. And that's how you enable and add users to your Zoho People account with Zoho Sign. Now, let me show you how you can send documents for signatures in Zoho People with Zoho Sign. This is the most basic function. We have a lot more use cases and functionalities with respect to this integration. But due to time constraints, I'll be showing you only this functionality for now. However, we do have a webinar coming up this month exclusively for this particular integration. Make sure you make sure that you register for this webinar. 
the registration link will be out soon i hope so all right now let us see how you can send documents for signatures with, within zoho people with zoho sign so from your zoho people dashboard go ahead and click operations and click files now when you uh, integrate your zoho people with zoho sign a new new module will be created called e sign documents go over to the e sign documents and all of the documents that you send complete recall decline everything will be present here within zoho uh, within zoho people and if you want to send a document for signature click the send for signature button you can add your document via your desktop and all of these functionalities is very similar to when you navigate zoho sign just add a folder and add a document name add a private to private message to this recipient if you want to the email address of the recipient also add the recipient actions and also the email and interface language you can also go ahead and add a private message to this recipient enforce an otp authentication and also delete this recipient if you want to and under additional options we have options to uh, options to set up a deadline for your recipient to sign this document you can also send reminders to the document recipients we also have a functionality where you can redirect the recipient to a specific website you want them to view now, after you configure all of these workflows go ahead and click send a familiar tab will appear where you have to uh, go ahead and drag and drop all of the fields After you do so, go ahead and click send. Now that's how you send documents for signatures within Zoho people with the Zoho sign integration. Now let us move on. I believe that no one can say it better than our very own clients when it comes to Zoho sign. So I have listed some testimonials here. I will pause the slide here for two minutes. If you want to, you can go through them. I have listed some of the resources here that may be useful for you as you explore Zoho Sign further. We have uh, we have a list of help help articles over here, and also the link for our forum community. We have our legal guide, our pricing, and also the link where you can request demo for Zoho Sign. If you have any more feedback or queries, please don't hesitate to email to our support team. If you want to visit Zoho Sign right away, you can do so immediately by scanning this QR code. We also have social media handles in X, LinkedIn, and YouTube. We provide valuable updates, tips, and information about all our events, with integrations, and upcoming functionalities regularly. So make sure to check it out. Okay. I think we can end this session now. Thank you so much for joining, everyone. Have a wonderful day ahead. Thank you.